Can I talk to you for a minute? Y'all can go on, thank you. But, but you haven't had anything to drink today or anything like that? You just getting off work or something? No. Left home, came to the grocery store. Okay. Jack. Huh? Jack. Jack. Jack what? Uh, yeah, it does. You guys use that too, put it on the plate there, buddy. No. Do you have any ideas? I do. I don't have to get muddy. I want to bear from a few more. Go back to the day. My part is explained there if you can is he refusing to ID? Yeah. Okay, bud. This is an intoxicated subject call. Okay. Okay. So, this is what's probably going to happen if it hasn't been explained to you already. Unless you identify yourself for this legal investigation, you're going to be arrested for failure to ID. Listen to me. And then we're going to call CPS to come pick up the kid. Okay, so now you're threatening So, to take what's your ID? You're threatening to take my What's your identification? What's your name, dude? Can I talk? I mean, y'all work You have me? one oh, thing to respond with right now, and that's to identify yourself. And you can't be failure to identify is whenever you have been lawfully arrested. You cannot get failure to identify unless you've been lawfully arrested. Should we just arrest him? Just go ahead. All right, turn around. Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. My hands are behind your back. Look what you're doing, Baby, it's okay. Oh, what are you doing? You're being placed under arrest for fail to ID. We got one resisting. Baby, it's okay. We got him in custody. Okay, dumbass. Dumbass? Excuse yep. me, what the hell are y'all doing? Where's your identification at? Now you're digging through my heart. You're under arrest, bud. For what? You, we already told you. Failure to identify. Not 30, very bright, are you? 3802. It's penal code. 3802. You can't be arrested unless you fail to identify or give it false information after you've been lawfully arrested. It's okay. Daddy's okay. Vehicles over here in front of grocery. Hi there. No, no, we're looking for the person operating it. Oh, that's driving that? Yeah. You want them to ask if they can check cameras? Uh, he should still be here as, as far as here. Um, is he like a drunk driver or something? We don't know, but that's the call, yeah. Maybe drunk, may have a child with him. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm that somebody that's operating a vehicle here at their drunk. So we didn't you want to go inside? Yeah, I'll wait here. Mayberry is in the store looking around. Okay. I'll hang out at the vehicle if you want to go in. Okay. Turn it down here quick. It's a little ways off. Uh, where are you working tonight? Six. Oh, you are? Okay. Yeah. I was working last night tonight. So, apparently five, five foot nine male with brown curly hair with a three year old. Okay. So, we'll probably have to hang on. Somebody called in, said he was harassing people, okay. maybe intoxicated. I'm sure you saw the call notes. Yeah, I did. Um, but uh, the, I guess uh, security here hasn't uh, doesn't have anything on him.
I'd hesitate to leave without locating them, though. Yeah. Nobody in the store has seen him or even know what he really looks like. There's all you didn't see a guy the... with a three-year-old in there? I'm gonna, I'll, I'll go back in. Okay. All right. But, uh, I mean, nobody in the store was really okay. helpful. Right. They, they hadn't seen him. So I would look around. I'll watch this. if if I'll let you know if he comes out. But there is a car seat in here, so. There is? Yeah. Hey man, can I talk to you for a minute? Y'all can go on, okay. Um, have you uh, been talking to anybody around here? Talking to... Oh, you know. uh, we've got... <laughs> we've got calls that someone's out here harassing people, and they may be drunk. You been... You haven't had anything to drink tonight, nothing like that? Nothing? You mean you're blowing your face? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> I think we got him. Yeah. So you haven't had anything to drink today, anything like that? You're just getting off work or something? You understand what this is. This is not, you get to tell us what is what. So, you're saying I have to give look, my name just look, we're, we're not trying to hit me up or anything. We're trying to make sense of what's going on because someone's telling us that someone is possibly driving drunk with a child in the car. They gave us your vehicle and a description of you. Yeah, you description there? Uh, just said that he had brown curly hair. That was it. Unknown description of it. They gave us your vehicle and a description of you. Okay. So, I mean, you can either make this long, drawn out and difficult and keep your son out well, here you and with all your groceries. You, you see can what? see that I'm not drunk, right? I don't know that. You mean all you did is tell me that? Well, okay, I think. Okay, well, we're trying to verify who you are and you're making that difficult. It's not that hard to just hand over an idea. It's not that hard for me to go about my day without even drinking or doing anything, but I don't, I mean, don't tell me I'm forced to ID myself. That's bullshit. <laughs> Just to verify who you are. What Simple you're basically going to do a lot of times... What you're going to do is verify who I am. Because so sometimes people want to tell us the truth about the Bible. Okay? Uh -huh. Ugh. I want to verify who you are. We'll go back to your day. We'll go back to our day and we'll be done. Ready? Do that simple now. My partner's explained their routine. Okay, okay. Okay. And me, and me, I want to ID. Is he refusing to ID? Yeah. Okay, bud. This is an intoxicated subject call. Okay. Okay. So, this is what's probably going to happen. 
if it hasn't been explained to you already. Unless you identify yourself for this legal investigation, you're going to be arrested for failure to ID. Listen to me. And then we're going to call CPS to come pick up your kid. Okay, so now you're threatening so, to take my kid. So, what's your ID? You're threatening to take my kid. What's your identification? What's your name, dude? Can I talk? I mean, y'all work You have me? one oh, thing to respond with right now, and that's to identify yourself. My kid is right there. Turn it around. Put the hand behind your back. I lost my camera. Y'all got him. Got him. Okay. So, you gonna ID yourself? Hey, quit pushing back. He's fine. A little late for that, isn't it? Okay. You got warrants, bud? Is that the issue? What? No, I don't have no warrants. You good? My license is valid. No, no warrants and no anything. You said your name was who, Zach? Yeah. You said Zach. Well, you misunderstood. Hey, he, he said Zach. He said Zach? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll correct myself. Hey. I'm going to walk him out. Her house, I guess. She is. Did y'all talk? She's coming? I don't know. We oh, haven't found okay. that out yet. Okay. So. I was just trying to calm the baby. I asked him where's, where's Mama, and he said, at her house. You gonna keep this and eat it later? Yeah? yeah? I've never had one. Are they really good? Really, really good? Are you a manager here? Uh, one of them, yes, sir. The store manager right now, he's over here. Okay, can we get him, please? Hey, uh, really good? Evan, come to the yeah. Come over here. Come over here. Hey, come right over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. We'll deal with that in a little bit. I'll deal with that in a little bit. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. You wanna? Do you guys wanna do anything with this guy? Um, what was what was he doing? Well, we got a call for an intoxicated driver with a three-year-old in the vehicle, and they they determined that was that guy. Yeah. And then. Um, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. I got it. So you want to the refuse your ID, then he resisted. Oh, it's up to you. Just giving you the. Yeah, no, no, it'll be okay. Okay. I don't understand how I could tell you to identify it. 
Fairly. Told him the we're just trying to make as much pain as we could, trying to get the folks in. But so he's actually the rest of the not required to get pain. If he's detained, he can't do it if he's fallen. But if he's just refused to give him then you would then have to arrest him for something else, right? No. He was explaining when Wap the officer may be trying to talk to him. Try and keep it friendly, keep it keep it painless, I guess. Try and make it get in front of him, not try and do anything. Try and keep him trying to take things. Yeah. Yeah. trying to talk to him, Officer Weber came in, explained to him, Officer Weber explained to him, we're conducting a talk to a person to investigation. Hi, how are you? Hey, ma'am, how are you? Good. Hey, you? Good. Explained Officer Weber what was going on. He's not, he's refusing to identify who he is. At that point, he's like, oh, he's not going to tell us. This is what's going to happen. If you identify yourself, you're looking at being arrested. Okay. At that point, is when, when he refused again, we let him put one hands on, put him in cuffs. However, okay. until he's actually arrested for an officer, okay. he doesn't have to do this. Okay. Okay. So, if he did not have something other than a failed ID, then you don't have to ask. Okay. Okay. Um, is there anything else you are thinking of? Hold up, we went in, still walking all the way back there. We just stuck in front of the front. Let's double check. Okay. Look up the failed ID statute. Okay. Double check, reread it, make sure before we go any further. Okay. You got a penal code here? So that's the 5C. That's the Correct. So. Other arrestable charge, no disorderly conduct, anything no. like that. No, sir. Okay. So, are there any use of force that needs to be reported to the police? We had to pin him up against the, against the little cooler that was against the cuff on He kept pushing back on us, pushing, put him against one again, and pulled him off the wall once he was stopped. Okay. No, I mean, normal normal hands-off stuff as far as I mean, no team takedowns or something like that. All right. Um, release him. Okay. Explain to him um, that there was a, a mistake in the understanding of the law. Okay. And uh, that he's free to go. However, it is best. Asked by a police officer who he is to give his name. Okay. No, it's not required. 
is always best to just give your name if you've been told you've been lawfully detained. Okay? Uh, do an information report. Possibly do an information report. Okay. Uh, explaining the actions of the person. But uh, as far as that goes, Roger that. Can you let's take him out front? Hey, what you want to buy Take your juice. Do you want to take this with you for later? Yeah? Okay, come on. Okay. Oh. Oh, well, well, lottery, huh? Yeah, he did. <laughs> what you talking about? I'm not going to slam you, okay? Just, no. Just let me look at your wrist, okay? That's all I'm doing. Turn your hand. Is yours or mine? Never mind. Here. All right. Mr. Miller, after talking with our sergeant, you got your stuff out of the way. You have a misunderstanding and interpretation of the law. That's right. Okay. If you let me finish, please. Okay, your son is fixing to come out with my office. Okay, well, I... What's going to happen is that... I don't have there, mess, I don't, okay. Is there anything I have to do from here on? No, I was going to okay. let you know. There's going to be a, there's going to be a report and document everything, sir. You're free. I know I'm free to go. Here you go. What happened? So, he was, the way he was talking, I thought he was intoxicated. Talk to Holt, explain to Holt everything. Holt says it's not going to be good. He says, unless they're lawfully detained. So we never told him he was detained. We just went to him. He had to we were investigating the talk to subject call and all that. Asked for original information. Holt says it's not going to be good. He said the felt that he's not going to fit. All three of us looked over it, read over it. Doesn't fit. Holt said to release him. Is he intoxicated? I don't smell anything on him. Unless there's something I missed that you caught, I... Just his speech, his manner of speech. No. Came across to me that he was... Into, I thought you guys had already made that determination. No. We didn't go that far. So, we'll, everybody is... Um, we'll all write a report. I guess we'll all, Oh, yeah. Somebody, one of us on this show, the other one's up. How are we going to figure it out? It happens. You got your own call? Your own call? Okay. Let's try to make sure. Look, I, I thought for happen. sure he was detained for a no, PI. He may be detained. I've seen 409. Mm -hmm. But until he's actually under arrest, arrest, he doesn't have to give a name, date of birth, anything. Okay. But he also can't, while he's detained, he can't give a false name. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. Th this is, there's been confusion about failed ID as long as I've been here. I've seen people charged with failed ID on a consensual contact. There's no such thing. On a consensual contact, you can tell an officer you're Mickey Mouse. And you're married to Minnie Mouse. Right. On a consensual. I didn't think this was consensual. Right. It's not. On a detention, he can't give false false information. Well, but he doesn't have to give a name at all. Yeah. It's only until he's under arrest I got that he's required to give all the and the proper name. Last name and, uh, 